Hey guys, Magnetico here and welcome to part two where we're going to be messing around with our original Xbox and on this one we're going to go ahead and add a soft mod which basically allows us to install a custom firmware which allows us to install our games, run emulators, uh, run cheats for games. I mean the list is just massive with the amount of things you can actually do with this particular uh, soft mod. So if you guys remember from the last part, uh, we went ahead and cleaned this system up. We went in there, blew out all the dust bunnies. We went in with isopropic alcohol. We, we dusted the whole thing with a toothbrush and um, with cotton swabs. I mean, whatever it took to get that guy super clean. Uh, so in this episode, we're gonna focus more on the soft modding aspect of it. So if this is your kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. If you guys have never been here before, welcome so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. All right, so some of the items we're gonna need here, obviously we're gonna need the system itself. We're gonna need this uh, wire, which basically connects to the controller port of the system. And then it has a female USB out. So make sure it's female. And the reason why we need that is we're gonna have to get a USB device. And what I'm using is a 256 megabyte USB device. So remember the Xbox itself, is pretty old. So the 3.0s and um, USB devices, eight gigabytes, all that stuff probably will not work for this, but you can hop on eBay and get like a pack of like 10 really old 256 megabyte um, SD cards or not SD cards, I'm sorry, USB drives for like dirt cheap. So definitely stick with those. Uh, the older they are, the more likely the Xbox is more likely uh, to read them. So uh, this is the one that I've tried. It's beat up. It, it's awful. It's just like the oldest one I could find. And I've kept it ever since just for the, the Xbox modding. And that's basically it. Lastly, uh, there's like four to five games that we need to basically uh, use the exploit for, but you only need one of them. My recommendation, Splinter Cell, the original one. I don't know if the greatest hits ones work uh, or whatever it's platinum hits, whatever it is, but uh, I would stick with the original copy of this. I know Tony Hawk Pro, Pro Skater 4 is another one of them, Mech Warrior and uh, a Golden Eye game. But for this particular video, we're gonna stick with the Splinter Cell. I love the series, so it's part of the part of the club. All right, so some of the programs you're gonna need to make this work is one of them is gonna be an FTP server of sorts. Uh, you can use FileZilla or I tend to use uh, WinSCP. This is the one I like to, to use right here. So just type in WinNCP in your Google search. You'll be able to find a download. I really like this one over FileZilla, but again, it's a preference thing. Uh, whichever one works for you guys is totally fine. All right, the next program uh, you're gonna use is called ImageBurn. And this is a pretty old program at this point. This is like back in 2013, this program we got perfected. Uh, make sure you download this one. This is actually part of my regular, like anytime I install a computer, this is part of my like lineup. It lets you burn actual physical DVDs to your hard drive. So this is how I copy all my PS1 games, my PS2 games, anything of the sort. Uh, this is the way to go. It, unfortunately, uh, since you know most PCs can't read uh, Xbox original games because they're protected, uh, it's not really gonna help you, but we're definitely gonna need this to burn an ISO we're gonna download later. So make sure you get this. Again, it's part of my arsenal, my usual arsenal. So I definitely recommend this program for sure. All right, the next program here is going to be called Exploder. And with this Exploder 360, the newest version that came out was back in like, man, I mean, this program is freaking old. It was 2008 when I got perfected. So it's 0.9 uh, beta 6. Go ahead and download this. Uh, basically, what this is going to allow us to do is inject certain things into like our USB hard drive for in order for like the Xbox to actually recognize. So this is one of the uh, this is a must have at this point, and it's not one of those like optional programs. So make sure you download this off the website. Again, all of these programs I'll have on the links in the description. So make sure you follow those so you can get the the correct programs. Uh, the last program we're going to need here is going to be the actual exploits. So basically, uh, this is called the Rocky five, uh, exploit here. So this is the soft money tool. C most current release of this video is 1.1.8 and they do have a pre-built version ready for you here. If you guys want to download that. So what I would do is just download that pre-built version right off the bat. Uh, it does take you to this weird, like Google, uh, drive thing where you can download it but this is basically what you're looking for is this uh, soft mod tool. So go ahead and get here, download. You guys want some instructions? They do have those, but if you have this, basically gives you all the documents you need, how to run it, the installation guide, and it gives you 
the actual saves that you're going to need so you can go ahead and exploit the system so again it gives you 007 uh, metal arms i guess they added a few splinter cell there it is that's the one we're going to use another item i almost forgot to mention that i really really recommend downloading is going to be the extras disc on the on the build here so this disc right here should be like a an iso i believe it's what it is so let's go ahead and download this right off the bat here download download anyway yeah, I believe it's going to be like an ISO of sorts. So that's another thing we're going to need is going to be the extras disc. All right, guys. So one of the first things you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your uh, your controller cable with the USB female out and go ahead and hook up your uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you format it to like whatever it's supposed to be. I think it's like just fat. Uh, but once you format it and all the good stuff is out of it, you know, make sure you clear out all the all the important stuff because we're basically going to wipe this completely uh, afterwards is basically just connect the USB drive into the female portion of the USB on the cable and then go ahead and hook up the other end into the controller port itself. So I went ahead and connected it to controller port two because controller port one is obviously controlled by my controller. We're going to go to memory. And you'll see this right here. This is memory unit 2A. The memory unit you inserted isn't working correctly. It has been erased. So go ahead and hit OK. It basically, all it did was formatted it. As you can see. So this is, it's recognizing it. Uh, this is a good sign. So it's recognizing it, memory, memory unit 2A. It's completely cleared out. But if we go ahead and exit and go back in, no longer gonna give us that error. So it basically, uh, it recognizes it as a memory card or a memory unit. The next step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unzip the two folders that we uh, downloaded from the internet. One of them is going to be the Xbox soft modding tool. The other one's going to be the Explorer 360, the beta one. Um, mine already extracted, but uh, basically yours just have to be in this folder form so you can kind of explore the contents of it. And as far as this one goes, the X Xbox soft modding tool extras disc, I would go ahead and take the time now and use image burn, the one program that I had you download. So you can go ahead and burn a DVD copy of this. What this does, it basically contains very powerful tools that you might need later on in case something goes wrong. If you need to restore your custom firmware or your soft mod, I should say, anything of the sort that might go wrong with the system. It even contains the original files of an Xbox original in case you want to set your Xbox back to the factory settings, which I think is absolutely awesome. So this is definitely worth having just in case uh, something goes terribly wrong. So go ahead and burn that. I already have a copy burnt, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that file. The next order of business here from the soft modding tool folder, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the soft mod package. Uh, most importantly, we're going to have a soft mod save. This one we absolutely need. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take it out from the UData folder like this. And from there, uh, we're going to pick the game that you're choosing to do the soft mod with. So some of you might have chosen Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Metal Arms. Uh, as I mentioned before, I am using Splinter Cell, the North American version. So I'm going to go ahead and take the UData, the data inside of there. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick it. Uh, as as you see here, so we have two of them. One is the one for the save file for the game. The other one is the actual soft mod tool that we're going to be using. So next step, we're going to go ahead and take the USB drive from the Xbox that we uh, formatted earlier. We're going to take that out. We're going to put it into our computer. It's going to ask you to format. Make sure you cancel because we do not want to format it. It's already formatted to read with. Uh, the original Xbox and we're going to go ahead and open, open Explorer 360. Now Explorer 360 usually comes with just the accelerator. It doesn't come with this MS VCR 71 DDL file. This particular file I had to download off the internet. I thought it was like a, um, what do you call it? A visual studio, uh, type of file. But even if you install that, this doesn't work for some reason, this program requires its own proprietary MS VCR 71.dll. So I'll go ahead and add a link in the description below to this particular file. That way you guys uh, know where I downloaded it from, because if you, as you can see, when I boot this, it boots just fine. But if you didn't have this file in the correct place, it just gives you an error saying that you're missing that MS uh, VCR 71.dll. Okay, so now that it's working, uh, we're going to go ahead and open our hard drive or memory card partition zero. Uh, let's go ahead and take these two files that we took out from our soft modding tool folder 
And we're just gonna let them copy. One of them is pretty large. The other one is just the splinter cell safe. But once it's done, that should be it. So let's go ahead and make sure that runs through all the way. All right, perfect. So now that it's in there, uh, I always like to double check. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this program, reopen it, go to open hard drive. There we go. If you hit partition zero, you'll see both those files there. So we are good to go. You can go ahead and get rid of all these files or keep them. Depends on you know whether or not you wanna archive these in case you wanna soft mod other systems. But other than that, we're done with the PC for now. Let's move on over to the Xbox. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this USB drive from the PC. I'm going to go ahead and plug it back into the female uh, plug-in for the controller port. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to plug it back into the controller here in just a second. So it's now a controller port too. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit memory. Searching for save games. So there's Splinter Cell. That's the soft mining tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this. Just kidding. There we go. You have to go into it, but we're going to go ahead and copy it into the hard disk copied same thing with this one make sure you go into it copy into the hard disk of the xbox that one's going to take a little bit longer just because it's a lot larger okay looking good so far let's just do not delete okay so next next order of business now that we can go ahead and soft mount this i'm going to go ahead and take the game and I'm going to physically put it into the system itself. So I'm going to go ahead and open the, the disk tray here. Okay, so I put the game in. I think it'll load here off of this screen. I don't think I have to restart the system. There we go. Okay, now that it's loaded, I'm gonna go ahead and start the game. We're gonna go ahead and load our checkpoint. And it should definitely take us straight to our soft mod menu here in just a moment. Yep, it's freaking out on me. There it is. Thank you for choosing the Xbox soft mod tool. If you have any feedback or bugs, please let me know via the Xbox homebrew discord. Thank you. All we have to do is press the A button. So the E E prom backup will be placed in E backups E prom. All right. So this one is one that we're going to have to absolutely keep safe. So we got to remember or make a note that we need can we have to add that to a backup somewhere in our PC in case, you know, things go wrong. We absolutely need that. So go ahead and hit. I understand. Okay. So the E prom bin is required to create a new hard drive for this system in case the Xbox hard drive dies. So, or replace it. If you go, if you guys want to replace your hard drive, you're going to need that E prom. All right. So some, uh, awful English here, but it says, well, that's you all soft modded. See, I told you it was painless process, but I need to restart the Xbox. So when you see the green flubber animation, take the disc out. Flubber animation, I went ahead and took out the splinter cell disc. And I feel like it's just still doing some stuff. So we're going to let it do its thing here. It's backing up the EEPROM, so it's important. We need that. All right, so this is the basic uh, Xbox that you're going to get here. It even tells you the version of Xbox you have. So I have a 1.4 version there. We're going to mess around too much with the settings, but as you can see, we have the, the settings here. Again, this is my favorite uh, version of this, but as you can see, we can uh, launch disc like normal. We have applications, which right now it only has the NK patcher. Uh, we have emulators. None of those are installed games. We have uh, gauntlet legends there from like uh, from before. So uh, yeah, it keeps all the all the old stuff that you had prior to soft modding this. So other than that, all of this should be blank. Mess with the settings if you guys go to like the system 
and you can copy your disk to the hard drive directly, uh, clear your cache. Uh, there's also options for you to go ahead and to go to the settings. All right, so there's so many settings that you guys can mess with as far as this goes. It is absolutely insane. So thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you keep a copy of your Rocky Extras Disc DVD safe somewhere. Make sure you take that EEPROM and make sure you put that on your hard drive somewhere using the FTP tool. Um, the next video will most likely be a um, an upgrade of the hard drive to an SSD. Then after that, it most likely will be the final one, which is where we do the um, the HDMI out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this helped you guys out so you can go ahead and soft mod your original Xbox system. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more and I will see you guys then. Bye bye.